Scottish independence is not on the agenda for the UK government, a senior British diplomat has said. In the latest assault against the SNP by Whitehall to the EU, UK Ambassador to Luxembourg John Marshall made the comments after the SNP published its 11-point road map towards a second vote. It stated that a legal referendum will be held after the pandemic if a pro-independence majority is elected to the Scottish Parliament in May's election. Asked whether Brexit and the UK government's crisis management in the coronavirus crisis strengthened Scottish independence aspirations, Mr Marshall said, the ruling party in Scotland is the Scottish National Party, SNP. It is clear that they want to make sure that the issue of the independence of the part of the country is on the agenda. However, he stressed, this issue is not on the agenda for the UK government. Echoing government minister points, he said the question of Scottish independence was only discussed in a referendum six years ago. The senior UK diplomat stressed, it should be a kind of referendum that only takes place once per generation. Our priority is to address the immediate problems we have across the UK. It comes after Scottish Secretary Alistair Jack claimed Nicola Sturgeon's comments on holding a second independence referendum were deeply offensive to Scots who had voted to remain in the Union in 2014. In a recent speech to EU officials, Mr Jack claimed Ms Sturgeon does not speak for Scotland and makes only comments to further her cause, which is to break up the United Kingdom and ignore our 300 years of shared history. At the same time, Scottish Conservative leader Douglas Ross Ross said Boris Johnson was leading the Conservative campaign for the May Holyrood elections. Dot. But he stressed to the Herald on Sunday, I spoke to the PM when he was up in Scotland last week. He'll be back before the election as PM of the whole of the UK. The PM is the Prime Minister of the whole United Kingdom but I am the leader here in Scotland, so I will welcome the PM when he comes up. He fully understands we are a separate party here in Scotland. I am the leader of the party taking the fight to the SNP in the run-up to May. In response, a spokesman for First Minister Ms Sturgeon, said, the Scottish government is absolutely focused on tackling the pandemic, which remains everyone's top priority, and we paused work on independence last year at the start of the Covid crisis. But the question is whom the people of Scotland want to be in charge of rebuilding our country and economy, a Scottish government or a Westminster one led by the likes of Boris Johnson? and we are determined to give the people of Scotland the choice in a legal, post-pandemic referendum.